Hey, man on fire. How's it going for you so far, dude? It's going good. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Give me the quick schedule, because I, I, you're getting out of here, I'm getting out of here. Where are you going today? I'm gonna fly to uh, Erie, Pennsylvania today and uh, catch a ride down to Edinburgh. I'm gonna work uh, six days at Jay Robinson in uh, Edinburgh. And then I'm gonna come back, do a little couple day camp for some friends right out here near, near us, just a few hours away. And then I'm gonna get ready to uh, have a two, three days off and get ready to, with the cadets. Fargo. Uh, Fargo, the cadets. Dude, do you ever take time off? Yeah, but <laughs> I had a lot of time off since August, buddy. I don't think that you, were, you were busy. Yeah, yeah. But I, it, I was all over the place, you know. Some days I'd work 18 hours. Some days I didn't, I didn't work, um, you know, since August. I, I mean, I was always working, right? Trying to set something up, this and that. Coaching, volunteered at the high school this year, coached. Had a great time. But, uh, yeah, just working hard, you know, um, helping kids. I kind of did a, uh, I did a count the other, kind of a rough estimate count the other day. So since... Uh, June 12th or something like that, 10th, June 10th. I think I've had uh, had or been at a camp, got to work with like 600 kids. Okay, quickly. 600 kids. So, so look, look that's, we've, got, we've got 130 here, right? Yeah. I'm already hearing rumblings of, we're gonna get bigger next year. There's gonna be more camping next year out in the parking lot and around the school and people are fired up. Are we gonna build momentum going to next year, Man on Fire Camp? Oh yeah. We got the momentum, man. We Multi got, weeks, maybe. I, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. You know, we'll, we'll see. We might have a uh, we might have a team camp. Might have the individual camp. We'll just have to see. We'll have to, uh, you know, check the temperature around and stuff. But yeah, we want to do some stuff. You know, the more kids that we can help, the more kids that we can get excited about wrestling, teaching them very good wrestling, pushing them enough. But really, you know, we want retention. We want the love of this sport. This sport, everybody can get something out of. Some are gonna be champions, some are gonna be the highest level champions, you know, I mean, but all of us can get something of it, out of it, like, for life. Okay, well you're bringing them in here for some more technique, you got anything else for me? Oh man. You got a lot for me. I got, I, well, we listen, hey, got a lot. We'll, we'll catch I, up. We'll actually catch up, I'll be, I'll be back in Northeast Ohio when you're, like your last day, I might buzz over and say what's up. Yeah. What is it, two hours from Cleveland? Yeah, not even that. Hour and a half. Yeah. Hour and a half from, from Sugar Falls. I haven't Falls. been to Niagara Falls yet. Well, might be this might be the time. All right, man. Thank you for being here. And just, if the parents are watching, which I'll push the YouTube channel, all that, but if the parents, the coaches are watching, you know, none of this happens without them, the kids, you know, that's why we get to do what we do. I mean, really, that's the, that's, you know, 100 and 112 of these kids come from somewhere else besides Christmas, right here. Yeah. 112 out of 130 or whatever, you, you know. So it happens because of other people. And we want to thank them and recognize that. All right, man. Good flight. Good safe travels. Keep grinding. Okay, buddy.